Bongin Kosi Madikizela's biography on the Western Cape Government website says he obtained a Bachelor of Commerce degree in Human Resource Management and a Certificate in Information Technology. Following a report in an online newspaper, Madikizela says he takes full responsibility for not clarifying that he had not completed the BCom degree. The Transport MEC, and also DA leader in the province, was appointed to the Provincial Cabinet by former Western Cape Premier Helen Zilla. Zilla, who is now the party's Federal Council Chair, says she was not aware of any discrepancy in his qualifications at the time of his appointment, but she says having a degree was not a requirement for a Cabinet position. She says an in-depth investigation will take place. The impact will have to be determined by the Federal Legal Commission in the case of the party itself, in the case of Mr. Madikizela's role in the Provincial Cabinet, that is in the hands of the Premier, and his role as Provincial Leader is in the hands of the Provincial Executive Committee, taking advice from the Federal Legal Commission, which will be coming in due course. The ANC in the Western Cape has meanwhile called for Madikizela's immediate suspension pending the outcome of the probe. If this is true, that an MEC has fraudulently um, submitted a CV, um, this is a very serious matter and it is a clear breach of the code of conduct governing all uh, members of parliament, um, which includes the MEC. In addition to that, as leader of the opposition for the ANC, I've written to Premier Windy and asked him to suspend MEC Madi Gizela from the cabinet while this investigation continues. Madikizela, who is one of the mayoral candidates for the city of Cape Town in the upcoming local government elections, says he does not wish to comment any further as he is said to appear before the Federal Legal Commission. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.